Well, hello, my Taurus friends. I hope you're doing well. I have a very special love reading for you. Yours, theirs, ours. So I'm going to look at the general reading around um, your connection. I'm going to see where you are in this connection, where they are in the connection, and then the connection itself. We're going to do uh, tarot cards, oracle cards, uh, charms. Uh, we're going to do a deep dive into your energy around this connection, their energy around this connection, and then the energy around the connection. It doesn't matter where you are in the love spectrum. Um, if it doesn't apply for you, then it wasn't meant for you. But it doesn't matter where you are in separation, in a relationship, thinking of leaving, thinking of, of starting, thinking of stopping, wherever you are, doesn't matter. This is for Taurus Sun, Moon, Rising. And uh, for them, it's mostly sun. I put that energy into it because you may not know their time of birth. So you don't know their moon and rising. Uh, but you can always figure out their sun sign uh, with their birth date. So further ado, Taurus, yours, theirs, ours. Taurus, yours, theirs, ours. General reading, please. Foundational energy. Foundational energy, yours, theirs, ours. Cards are ready. So for yours, creativity. And this is your card, Taurus. This is Venus. Uh, this is pregnant with possibilities. Um, this is abundance. This is manifestation of um, the natural world. Um, again, pregnant with possibilities all kinds of options, um, but this is the Venus card, so anything luxurious. Uh, this also is wine. Let's see. Oh, under there's Revelation, the tower. The, um, something has happened in their life that has kind of turned their life upside down. It's so interesting because you have this stability here. This is the Taurus card. This is stable. This is... Manif you know, manifesting what you want, creativity, pregnant with possibilities, and their world is kind of blowing up on them. Uh, and, and it's nothing that they've done. It's This is also I call the hand of God. Uh, just all of a sudden, kapow. You know, um, you go to show up for work that day and you get a layoff slip and you didn't see it coming. That kind of thing. So let's go into ours. Oh, self-realization or self-reflection, the moon, sorry, I, I apologize, self-reflection, the moon card. So we've got some illusions here, but what's going on with this uh, relationship, Taurus? A little bit of, I've got a few illusions here. Um, so whose illusions are it? Are, is it yours? Is it them? Let's get some clarifications, please, Taurus. Again, we're going to get the energies first before we go into the tarot card reading. We're going to get the general energies. Let's please clarify. Please clarify for Taurus. Please clarify. Please clarify for Taurus. Please clarify. Oh, you got a couple of them here. Um, revelation. Isn't that funny? I said self-revelation, revelation. And this one here, inner child, in it, it, pregnant with possibilities, inner child. Um, what's going on here? What are you birthing, Taurus? What are you birthing here? Are you, are you actually pregnant? Are you actually pregnant? Um, what revelation did you just give birth to? What revelation did you just give birth to? Your creativity. Um, what did you just discover about yourself? Let's get some further clarification here for theirs and ours, please. Further clarification for theirs and ours for Taurus. For theirs, courage. Wow, something's happened in their life, and they and they're handling it. And awaken. Isn't that interesting? We have the sun here on the moon card, 
and we have a lotus here and a lotus here. Somebody was under illusion. Was the tower moment you waking up to realize what this relationship was? Was that their tower moment, Taurus? Let's find out. Um, you've, you've woken up to something. Maybe you're just tired of taking their shit. This inner child, uh, maybe you've taken shit your whole life and you're just tired of it. You're just tired of it. So you blew their world up by saying, I'm out of here. This was an all an illusion. I was doing all the work. You were doing none. Let's see. Let's get some messages of love. Those are my initial thoughts. Let's see. But definitely somebody's flown the coop here. The sun shone light on what was really going on. And one woke up and went, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. This was all an illusion. This was all an illusion. Self-reflection. Self-reflection here. I think, Taurus, you're the one who had the self-reflection. Something happened that uh, you decided to be yourself instead of bending to what that what they wanted you to be. And uh, it blew up their world. It's Taurus. Yours, theirs, ours. Fate. This is a destined partnership. Maybe you were meant to meet each other um, so you could learn this lesson, right? Not everybody's meant to stay in our life. They're just here to teach us a lesson, and then they move on, and you move on. And uh, as long as you learn the lesson, you don't have to put up with it anymore. Cards are ready. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So, yeah, you know what? The attraction, but is that love? Protected, you are safe and divinely guided. Yeah. Look at the, you're safe and divinely guided fate. So, yeah, you had some chemistry with this person, whether you're in separation or you're, you're still together. Um, but, but you were meant to come together to figure out what you needed to figure out and have some self-reflection. But I don't think this was ever meant to be a love connection. That's what I'm getting. Remember I said it's a, this, this connection is an illusion. Um, you are, there's no like Matt, there's no soulmate cards here. Um, it's a partnership the chemist so it might have had some great sex you know you're very tr physically attracted to each other which tours people love the physical and um yeah i i think this protection here is for you you are safe and divinely guided it's like hey now it's time you got what you needed from this now let's go and uh You've learned the lesson and now you're awake to what this real person really wants. Is this person just a player? They also were attracted to you and uh, it was just the physical attraction and they never really meant that, you know, to go anything deeper. So when you, when you flew the coop, kind of blew up their world. Let's see what their thoughts are about this. Let's see Taurus, their thoughts, please. Taurus, their thoughts, Taurus, their thoughts. For yours, theirs, and ours. Their thoughts. Their thoughts. Cards are ready. I know we have a soul connection. Yeah, this is a destined partnership. You're so easy to see through. <laughs> so they knew you were just physically attracted to them as well. I need to focus on my healing. Yeah, you've left them, Taurus. You've left them. And uh, they they kind of, this was, an, uh, there was nothing further here than physical. Maybe some intellectual, you know, you had a good time. You could just, but you have a soul connection. But remember, soul connections, we all travel with a soul family. So we do have soul mates. And sometimes our 
our siblings can be our soulmates. Sometimes friends can be our soulmates. A mentor can be our soulmate. It's generally people around our age. Sometimes your lover and your partner is your soulmate, and sometimes they aren't. But you can have a soul connection, meaning that um, you travel as a soul family. Like if you ever walked into the room and being immediately attracted to somebody and you don't know why, and it's because you have a soul connection. So they felt it too. They felt it too. They felt this soul connection as well. And, um, and exactly, because this is fate. This is a destined partnership in the law where you were before you came to earth. You both agreed that you would come down to earth, meet up, and exchange this karma, fix this karma, learn this lesson, and then go your own ways. But there was never any doubt in either of your minds that this would go much further than just fixing the karma, fixing the lesson. Um, it was an illusion that you were actually lovers or destined. Um, now, if you're married and now you're going through a separation, that might have been what you needed the lesson to learn. Um but they 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 knew it. They knew it. They call it seeing seeing. You're so easy to see through. It just means that their intuition. They were listening to their intuition that this was not a, a lifelong love. Sorry, sorry. I just I call them as I see them. I'm not going to tell you. You know they're going to text you tomorrow and beg you back. I mean they could. Um, whether you can take them or not, I don't know, but I'm not going to tell you things I don't see in the cards. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to give you false hope. Um, but yeah, they need to focus on their healing and you, cause you are right now, you are, you're focusing in on your inner child healing. That's another reason I think this is a deep soul connection. Things that touch our inner child like that are from from lifetime after lifetime. All right, let's let's get to the tarot cards, please. For Taurus, for Taurus, yours, theirs, ours. Taurus, yours, theirs, ours. Cards are ready. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune on your fate. This is a death. Yeah, it was very fortunate that you met this person. Oh, the star. The chemistry you feel is mutual. Yeah, your stars got you th through to your goal. Also, the star is healing. I need to focus on my healing. So, um, yeah, they're going to focus this. I think you calling the plug on this, um, they realize how much they have to heal. And they are. Uh, six of Wands. This this relationship was, while well, it says it's protected here, uh, you're safe and divinely guided. It was a victory. This, Even if it doesn't, fe if it feels like it was a failure, it was actually a victory. You both learned your lesson. And so now you can move forward. Now you can move forward onto maybe the person that you actually are supposed to be with. Let's see. Oh, the devil in reverse. Um... This is, phys yeah, just physical. This was always just physical, just physical, um, physical attachments. Um, I don't know. Did they make a lot of money? So it was fun to be around. And this is like physical earthly pleasures and which Taurus loves um, being an earth sign. Um, this was definitely a physical earthly connection. And I think that's why you have to kind of heal your inner child because the physical is all on the outside and the inner child and the revelations are on the inside. Three of pentacles. You might've worked together, might've been somebody at work, but you did collaborate with this person. Um, I think you both kind of knew what, what was what, because here we have another earth, uh, the three of pentacles um yeah the chemistry like i think you both both deep down knew this was you know not that deep once in a lifetime kind of love oh spirit of pentacles more earth <laughs> uh this is the knight of pentacles yeah this was slow and steady physical safe right you protected you're safe and divinely guided this was a very safe relationship to have this could have been a friends with benefits getting that kind of feeling of friends with benefits 
or maybe put them in the friend zone. And um, now that's why they have to heal, but they'll heal. But yeah, I, I, I'm getting a friends with benefits or somebody wanted more and you've put them into the friend zone. But yeah, this was, it, this was always your safe. This was your safe person. Oh, the universe. Yeah, you guys aren't, this isn't complete. You haven't finished this. This isn't complete. You're going to do this again life, next lifetime. Um, I, you know, you might even be able to remain friends with this person. Um, but it's it's not complete. I think you guys have a long list of, of things that you need to work out with each other. And uh, until then, you'll still keep running into each other somehow, some way. Oh, the naked heart. You actually, Taurus, you actually really broke their heart. You honestly did. That's why they have the courage card here. Their life was turned upside down and they're facing it with courage. You actually really broke their heart. You really did. Um, and, but they knew, they knew what they were in for. They knew it was just physical. Maybe they thought their, you know, their guiding star would get them to their goal. You guys were working together. So nice. Um, you know, it doesn't feel like there was a lot of fighting here. I'm not getting like a lot of anger and fighting. I'm just getting a lot of earthly pleasures. And, and um, I think you were more into getting the earthly pleasures out of him and, or them. And uh, it really kind of really broke their heart. Ooh, nine of swords uh, uh, in reverse um, on the, I need to focus on my healing yeah, they, I, I, Taurus, you might not want to hear this. You really broke their heart. You really kind of fucked them up. Um, they were sure that, uh, that you were the one and, uh, they saw what it was. They, they actually, they saw what it was about, but they didn't want to believe it. Now I know that's not your fault. Um, but they are healing. They will get over it. They will get over it. Don't be surprised if they want to remain friends though. Um, and, you know, as long as they know what the boundaries are and they, but there's some kind of hook there that they want, they want you, they always want you in their life and, you know, they're, they're willing to, uh, just be friends. I think, I think they're just, let's see, let's get some predictive here. Where, where's this going in the future? Now, if you are currently with somebody and you're like, no, I think we really are soulmates. I want you to really look deep down into yourself and, and see if that's really the truth about your relationship. Um, right? Just because, like I said, just because you have a soul connection, you feel very comfortable with this person doesn't necessarily mean that's the love of your life. You know, um, and just because you have like great physical uh, needs met um, doesn't mean it's the person you're always meant to be with. It just could be somebody that you need to learn a lesson from and move on from. And uh, but sadly, this person got a little bit deeper into it than uh, than you did. So if you're in, in currently in separation, if you have your eye on somebody and they're your special person. Um, I mean, you're going to go for it and you're going to have great sex. And you're going to have great physical, um, like maybe you enjoy the same foods, like you're going to have the same physical chemistry, but I don't think it's going to be that satisfying to you because you need body, mind, and soul. And uh, you might have some intellectual and some physical parts here, um, but you you do not have the deep, I don't have any deep love connection. The only love card I got is in reverse, broken heart. Um, so let's see what, what the uh, predictive here is for Taurus. Yours, theirs, ours. Yours, theirs, ours. But yeah, this relationship, this connection, it was always an illusion. It, was, it wasn't anything ever solid. Um, and even if you're married, I want you to think really deep and hard about that. Um, if you're in separation, I honestly, so far, I don't see anything coming back together. Um, even though that they might want to. So that's cards are ready. 
Ooh, that was a definite cut. Order. Order. Um, yeah, this is like, just like, to me, this is missionary, boring, same sex over and over and over and over. Eating same food every day. Doing everything because this is a Virgo, so this is Earth sign. This is repetitive. Get up for work at eight, come home at five. You know, it's Tuesday, so it must be meatloaf. That kind of that's what I get from that card. Oh, discrimination, meaning that okay, so the butterflies, the butterflies are flittery. And so they only land on a flower and get what they want, and leave, get what they want, and leave. They never stay for very, very long. And this is, this card is be picky what flower you land on. And uh, this is a companion here scaring away um, potential butterflies that may land on you. Um, I think he's going to be, he, I, I always say, whatever, you figure it out. <laughs> them, um, they, them, her, she, whatever. Um, is going to be more discriminate about, because remember I asked for predictive, who they allow to land on them. Ooh, concentration. Um, yeah, this is, uh, what happened here is that one of you, this was your whole world, right? Look at this star, right? In, right? We have the star here too. That was their whole world in this web. Nothing else, nothing else mattered. Um, I don't know if they're going to go back to that or not. Charity, charity. So this is predictive. Um, you know what? You might, um, allow this person in your life and it's going to feel like it's charitable to you. It's going to feel like, okay, I'll put up with them because I feel really bad that I broke their heart. Or I feel really bad for them, so I'm going to be charitable with, I'll reply to their text and, you know, you're going to feel like you're you're kind of charitable that way. Um, but I don't think, I, I don't, not in a lying way, I think it's just you're going to feel kind of guilty in some respect for breaking their heart. And besides, they, they're good friends and they're part of your soul family. So I think in some respect, you're going to be charitable that they'll always kind of be in your life. Extremism. You know, I think it's going to take them a very long time to get over this. And I don't think they're going to date very much. I think they're going to just kind of try and concentrate on getting you back. And here I see, yeah, you're going to get texts and messages, DMs from them. They're going to see how good I am, see what an amazing person I am. We were meant to be together. I'm not going to allow anybody else in my life. And, um, and I, but I think you're going to kind of put up with it for some reason. Oh, flattery. Yeah, they're going to flatter you. They're going to try and get, they're going to really try hard to get you back. They're going to really try hard to get you back. Influence. Influence. You might fall for them again. You might fall for um, temptation. You might be tempted. You know, they're, they might, uh, right? Because this is Adam and Eve, and this is a soul connection. But it, it, ugh, don't be tempted. Don't be tempted. Don't lead them down the garden path. It's just going to make it worse again for them. Um, escape. They have to escape you. So when I say be charitable towards them, be nice to them. There's no need to be rude or ghost them or... Um, but they're living in an escapism world right now and, or they will be if you haven't, if you haven't broken up yet. Um, I do not see any kind of, of love here. Um, it, it's almost like they want to possess you. So you're going to have to have a very fine line, right? If they're tempting you, oh, come on, babe come on over and 
you know, I've got your favorite lingerie on or whatever they're, they're saying. And you might be tempted because it was like lots of fun and, and they're safe, right? They're safe. And I wouldn't do it. I think they're going, it, it's just going to draw things out and make things worse. And it's like an escape for them to be with you, to be in your presence. And rather than get on with their life and find who they're meant to be, I'm almost getting like an obsession here. And so I want you to be very, that's, I think, where the charity is coming in, that be charitable with your words, meaning that just acknowledge them, but don't go deep into a conversation with them. So when they send you a text, hey, sweetie, how you doing? You know, all is well, hope all is well with you and a smiley face or high five or something. Don't go into deep, deep. Like, you know, you're hooking them back into your story again. Keep it really surface. Keep it, be charitable with your words. Be charitable with your words. Control. Control. Yeah, I think one of you has to control this situation. I think it's going to have to be you. Um, I'd be, just because this is um, Capricorn, your, your sister uh earth sign i think it's gonna have to be you you're gonna have to you're gonna have to really have control of this situation i think this person's going to go into some kind of obsessive um thoughts um there and i think you're gonna have to be firm nice but firm and again charitable with your words and do not go in to temptation with them no matter how good how tempting um, how safe it feels, it's just going to perpetuate that. And, and I don't think you want to create new karma with this relationship. I think this is also his karma to learn about this. So I want you to remember that when you, um, when they're calling you, begging you, oh, come on, please come on over and let's Netflix and chill. Remember how good it was. I want you to remember that when you do, you're denying them their karma as well. Okay, um, I think you're going to have to be the one, Taurus, who is in control. Let's get a summary, please. Let's get a summary. I think this is, I, I, I don't want to scare you, but I also want you to realize the uh, situation here. Let's get a summary for Taurus. Yours, theirs, and ours. Yours, theirs, and ours. I think I did a similar reading for you, Taurus. A couple of months ago about the um about it being a, the relationship being a re, an illusion i think it was you okay deserving you know what you deserve to have love and that somebody to adore you you deserve to have not somebody who stalks you or who you don't feel that deep, deep connection with. Um, you deserve somebody to bring you a castle and be the king of your castle or you be the king of the castle and the happiness. I look at that card and I just think deserving happiness, all round happiness. And this is also an earth card. Look at all, look at the beautiful flowers and earth and the castle. So this is a really good uh, physical card in the physical world which is earth let's see there's transformation a little bit darker card isn't it they're gonna have to transform um themselves they're gonna have to cross over that bridge and leave you behind and uh this it, first card they had was the tower and the tower is transform transformation it's busting up your whole world as you know it so you can create a new world. And that's what they have to do. So when you keep them hooked in, they can't cross that bridge. They don't want to cross that bridge because you aren't going with them. So you have to let them be, be very, very strong that they have to cross that bridge by themselves. And let's see. Uh, oh, loss. Yeah, on the R's. This, yeah, there's, you have to let them go, Taurus. They have to let you go and you have to let them go. This re connect like relationship is over. As a connection, absolutely. Your soul family will always be connected. But as a relationship, as a deep, lifelong, love of your life relationship, no, absolutely not. No, 
No, you're going to have to both let them go, let them cross over that bridge um, to get on with their real life because you deserve so much more than just friends with benefits. Um, now I'm going to do your charms and your charms are just for you, not for them or the relationship. They're just messages for you. Charms for Taurus, please. Charms for Taurus, please. Let's see, do we have a, oh, a U, a letter U with the number one on it. So U, so whether that's unity, uniform, unis, um, undone, I don't know. You're going to have to figure out what that means to you. Um, just as I said, undone, I saw the lock. That's locked. Maybe you have to unlock that lock. I don't see any keys here, though. Maybe that unlock is is you. Um we do have a tree of life. So we've got some healing going on. And I see, and you have these uh, cards here. Healing, deep healing with the lotus, revelation, and then the inner child healing. Um, I think you're going to do some deep healing over, over this. I'm just looking here. Oh, Taurus, there you are. This is all about you, Taurus. This is you. This is this is Taurus. Or you might even be dealing with another Taurus. Um, but this is you deserving. You deserving. Um, inner child. You've got to do this. You're not going to clean this up with, with this person around. Yeah. You've got the uh the single bird. Just just you. You've got to look after yourself. Um, you've got to rely only on yourself. We've got, uh, we got Eiffel Tower here. Ooh la la. So you might be doing some traveling. Maybe something French means something to you. Um, but definitely if you have some travel, um, go far in your travels. So whatever, I don't know where you are in the world, um, but don't just go like to a weekend getaway, actually go out far. And here we have the mermaid. So go to the sea. I would go to the sea somewhere. And we actually even have a dolphin here. I just noticed that. And a seashell. Yeah, go have a nice beach holiday. Go fly over the sea. That's where I was trying to get at. Not necessarily Paris. But uh, maybe a French Caribbean island, because we have the ooh la la there. Um, if you have the ways and means, a French Caribbean island. Um, they've got many of them around the world or somewhere where they speak French and also has a beach. I think, it, you know, there's something there for you. Maybe some healing. Um, but there's something there. And then, then we have... for and show was this a whole relationship just for show or show for what do you have to show for it a couple of words for you to uh consider there taurus that's that's actually for them to be the same color and um actually that's a very strong message for you because i've got all kinds of different colors and that, i think that's the first time both uh, words have the same color on them and then finally we have the rose quartz which is, which is love and I think in this case this is self-love you know I, interestingly I didn't see one other person involved I didn't see a third person involved in this relationship this was all about you Taurus all about you and how you can uh, heal yourself and move on to the life that you deserve because this isn't this isn't life. This is friends with benefits. Even if you're married, I think if you're honest with yourself, you're not um, very happy. And again, it might not resonate with you um, because it is a general collective. If it doesn't, um, go look at your other signs. All right. Thank you for watching. Please take good care. Bye. For now.